Okay, in this next video, I'm going to show you how you can automatically automate your report so that your import data macro will automatically execute as soon as this Excel file is opened. So a couple of changes that I have made from the previous video. I have renamed sheet two to raw data and I've renamed sheet one to the home to a home tab. And I've also saved this file as data analysis. Now in the previous video, when we created the macro for importing data, the one thing that I did mention is that once you change the file name, you're gonna have to change part of the macro. And the macro that we're gonna have to change under import data is going to be this section right here, Windows Book 1.activate, because Book 1 is the title of your file. So mine is now data analysis.xlsb. Now, I'm gonna mention this, when I save the file, I saved it as an XLSB file. Because our report has macros in it, you're, you're gonna wanna save it as a macro-enabled workbook dot xlsm file or an xlsb file both of these file types of microsoft excel support macros my preference is the binary workbook option because this has an embedded compression option in it where it automatically compresses your excel file every time you save it so that way when it, where if when it's on your drive it takes up less space and reason why we do this is because when you're working with files that have pivot tables pivot tables take up a lot of memory and when you work in an organization that has a shared drive or a public drive and people are accessing the file remotely having a smaller file is always better that way the file transfers quicker but again it's it's up to you both of these workbooks um, both of these workbooks do support macros the only downside of an XLSB file is that you need Excel 2007 or later to open it So let's go ahead and get started with this code here. I've already changed this out. Before I proceed, I'm just gonna test this code out for import data. I don't have any data here, so let's. I'm gonna run this macro. I'm gonna press the play button, and it worked properly. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna have my home tab selected. I'm gonna go to Developers, Visual Basic Environment, and what I'm gonna do is look for my project on the left the VBA project I'm gonna be working with is gonna be the data analysis file. With this expanded under Microsoft Excel objects, I'm gonna double click this workbook and I'm gonna put in the code of my macro. Um, in this case, it's import data and then I'm gonna select sheet one. But it's under macros. This is the macro that I have, import data. All we need is just the name of that procedure, import data and then select sheet one because if you remember in the import data macro that has sheet 2 selected. So I'm just gonna press F5 and that works. But again this is supposed to execute when the workbook opens and my apologies let me kind of rewind a little bit. To get to this section right here you need to go to Microsoft Excel objects double click this workbook on the left, you're gonna see the screen that just says general. You're not gonna see this workbook open section. So you're gonna see it general. You're gonna select workbook. Towards your right, you're gonna have all these procedures and events. You're gonna select the open, and then it's import data again. And then sheet one dot select. And so I already tried testing it out. I'm gonna close this out and hit save changes. But now when I open it, data analysis opening if you quickly saw on the screen you, you saw the data rather quickly but I'm only recording at 15 frames per second so you may not have seen it but if we look at raw data the data is now there so just to show you one more time I'm going to delete that save changes now I'm going to show you something most users are going to have the macro security set up to I want to, I believe it's disable all macros with notification. Hit OK. So if we open the file, you have macros have been disabled. Of course, um, you're going to want to instruct the user to do enable content, but the moment they do that, the workbook calls the macro and the, the data is already here loaded. But that concludes this portion of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next, in the next videos. Thank you.